Today, I want to show you how I went from getting less views than a Minecraft Let's Player to now the algorithm literally sending me one to 2,000 views every single hour. And in turn, that blew up my subs, helped me make a bunch of money, and helped me monetize not just this channel, but a bunch of different channels as well. Some of them with literally one video. So let's go through this step by step. Step number one is we need to figure out why the algorithm isn't promoting your channel. Now, most people think that the algorithm just hates them, but there's a way to actually go into your analytics and verify whether it is the algorithm that hates you or whether there's a deeper problem at play. So you just come to your YouTube studio and this is just like a random example channel I have then come down to content and then in content, come to whatever video you think the algorithm hates. Let's say this one's been up for over two years and only got 30 views in that period of time. Then go to analytics by hovering over this button here. Last, we're going to go across to this reach tab. And what we're going to look at is this number here, impressions, because impressions essentially tells us how many times the algorithm has promoted our video. And in the case of this video, you can see here, even though we've only got 29 views, the algorithm has actually promoted our video 400 times. The problem is our video just actually isn't enticing enough to viewers. If we come and look at the retention of this video, I go to overview and come down here. By the time the video reaches a 10 second mark, over 50% of viewers have left the video. And so the issue here is like what Mr. B said. The algorithm didn't like that video? No, the audience didn't like that video. It's just that the data is showing us here that the video isn't resonating or clicking very well with viewers. And this is going to be some tough love here. It's going to make a bunch of you leave. But a lot of you, if you actually were honest with yourselves and went into your analytics and had looked at them, the majority of you would have this exact same problem here. And that's totally okay. I'll show you how to fix that in this video. It's actually easier than you would think. But really quickly, I know there's going to be a bunch of you in the comments and rightly so being like, but Marcus, my content is good. I get, I get great, great feedback on it from viewers. I get great feedback on it from my friends and family. And I think here's what I would say to you. It's not necessarily that your video is objective objectively bad because it's not about whether or not your video is good or bad. It's about whether or not your video is better than the alternative options viewers have to choose from. So for example, if you look at this video, it's like a how to make a simple Minecraft lightsaber. Look at the title and thumbnail of this video. Now, if we just go to YouTube and type in how to make a Minecraft lightsaber, look at some of the other options that show up. There's this video here. There's this video here. There's this video here. And without even watching these, just from looking at the titles and thumbnails, these videos are so much more enticing, which explains why this video is being promoted to over 400 people. And yet not very many of them resonated with it. And so the video didn't get much love from the algorithm. So I want to show you one of my favorite ways to create great videos in any niche that get a ton of views, even if you don't have the same amount of time and money to invest into your content as maybe some of your competitors. In fact, I've used this process to single handedly blow up videos in niches with other YouTubers that are literally full time, have like 10 plus men teams and hundreds of thousands of dollar budgets. And it takes you like one weekend to do. You just got to work smarter, not harder. And so that leads us to step two. What we need to do is come to YouTube and start typing in what I call umbrella terms that are related to your niche. So let's say, for example, you run a how to make money online channel. Umbrella terms for that niche would be like make money. And when you type that in, a bunch of videos are going to show up. But more importantly, we're going to look at the channels. So I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard and just open up all of these different videos. And you would go through and do this to all of the videos that show up. I'm just going to do it to these ones for now. And then what I'm going to do to every single one of these channels is subscribe to all of these. And then what I'm going to do is on these videos, I'm going to go down to the recommended videos here. And there's going to be a bunch of other videos from other channels. And I'm also going to open up these and do the exact same thing. I'm going to go to this one, hit subscribe, this one, subscribe. So I'm going to subscribe to all of these. And basically what we're trying to do here is you're trying to build out a list of all of the players or competitors in your niche. So for me on this channel, for example, I have a list of over 300 channels posting how to grow on YouTube related content. And this will probably take you a couple of hours to do, which will be super boring, but I promise you you'll be worth it. If you stick around, you'll see why. A few moments later. And now that I have these channels in my niche, what I'm going to do is an analysis of all of them to figure out what's making them successful. And there's a very specific way I do this. So what I'll do is I'll come to this website, velio.co, and you can do what I'm about to show you completely for free. It's just Velio saves a bunch of time and makes it easier. So for the sake of this video, I'll show you that. And once you're logged in, what you're going to do is come down to saved channels. And then come over to create list and create a channel list and just title it whatever the name of your niche is. So I might do like make money channels, hit save. And that's going to create a list that I can then click into. And then what I'm going to do is come to add channel. I'm going to add all of the different channels I've found inside of the make money niche. So for example, I found this one. I'm just going to copy the link, just paste this in here, hit track channel. And what you'll see is it's going to populate all the videos from this channel inside of this channel list. Now let's do this to this channel, for example. So I'm going to copy this link, add this channel, track it, and then we'll grab the videos from this channel and chuck them into the list as well. Do the same thing with this channel, chuck this in here. 
You can see now videos from this channel are showing up in here as well. And basically you're gonna go through every single channel that you found in your niche, which I know is gonna be a pain, but you only have to do this once and just add them into your tracked channel list. Now I've already done this to save a bit of time earlier into this business slash make money online channels. I think I've got about 150 different channels with all of their videos loaded inside here. And now we'll do an analysis of these channels to figure out what is getting them views. Because once we have that information, we can use that to help get views for our own channel, regardless of how small it is. So what I like to do is come into filters here, this button here. I like to come down to multiplier and set this to 2.5. I like to come to duration here and bring that up to at least like five minutes or so. And then what I like to do is come to custom and set a date range to filter out any videos that got a lot of views, but they were posted a really long time ago. Now, as for the date range that you should set, this really depends on how your niche works. So if you're in a niche that's evolving very quickly and there's constantly new trends and things that used to get views, say like a year ago, now get like no views, then you wanna set a small date range, like maybe last 180 days or last 365 days, because we only wanna run our analysis over videos that were posted recently so we can exclude all those videos that blew up because of old trends. But if you're in a more evergreen niche, so like the make money space, sure there's been blips like AI became a thing and then there was crypto and NFTs and whatever. But in general, people still just wanna get rich and make money passively, right? So I'm gonna go custom. I'm gonna go back about three years. And then I'm gonna click on this calendar and I'm gonna go back to 2024, get back to like August and today and then hit apply. And now Velio is gonna load up all of the videos from the channels tracked in this list that meet the criteria we just set. But we'll do one last thing. We're gonna go to sort over here, sort by views and then sort by most views to least views. And this is gonna order our videos in order of ones getting most views to the least views. And now we can see the most successful videos from all these channels in one place. But before I show you how to do our analysis, I wanna do one more thing. And that is sometimes channels will post videos on different topics that aren't relevant to our niche. So for example, we can see Ali Abdal, he does post videos on making money online here, but he also posts videos on his skincare routine, right? We don't care about skincare videos. So what I'm gonna do is note down skincare as a negative keyword. So I'm gonna go into my filters and click on advanced filters. So I'm gonna come down to exclude keywords. I'm just gonna put like skincare, right? And hit apply. And now we can see that skincare video from Ali Abdal got removed. Now I can see that there are a couple of other videos in here, like this desexualizing your brain one or understanding English one. So I'm just gonna go through here really quickly and add some negative keywords that will get rid of these. Cool, let me add them in, hit apply. And now I have a list of just videos that meet the make money online criteria that I want. And here's where we do the analysis. So what we're gonna look for is topics. So the ideas intrinsically baked in to these videos that have all done really well. And we're gonna make a list of highly successful topics within this niche. So let me give you some examples. What I can see here is nine passive income ideas, how I make 27K per month from Ali Abdal. This video almost has 14 million views posted three years ago. It is the most successful make money online video in the world in the last three years based on the list of creators I've found. So what I might take from this is passive income is something people are very interested in. And what I wanna try and do now is verify that by seeing other videos that have been successful talking about passive income. So I could do that by coming to search here and just typing in passive. And look at all these videos that are showing up. We've got our original one here. We've got this one, how to make money selling books with passive income. This one, seven passive income ideas. This one, passive income. This one, passive income, passive income. And what's more importantly is we can see this outlier score here on these videos, which shows us how much of an outlier or breakout video this is. And all of these videos that we're seeing that have passive income in them, they all have positive or high outlier scores. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come to like a Google doc or something. and I'm just gonna write down passive income. Now let's get rid of our passive income search, get rid of this concept, and let's see if we can find a couple more breakout topics, and then we'll do some pretty cool stuff to them in a sec, and I'll show you how you can use them to get a bunch more love from the algorithm on your channel. So if I scroll through this a bit more, and I might just bring this out like this so I can just see more videos in the same topic, I can see another sort of trend that's pretty interesting. So meet the billionaire that works a normal job, asking millionaires how to make a million dollars, how much money Mr. Beast makes, how I went from 500 to half a billion in five years, asking 80 year old millionaires if it was worth it. Long story short, another topic seems to be interviewing rich people and teasing out their knowledge. So I'm gonna mark that down as a topic and let's just get a couple more here. See, another thing that's kind of interesting, if I zoom in here on the titles a bit, I can see another thing. Notice this, do this to make $10,000 as a student. Here's another one, seven principles for teenagers to make money. 
how teenagers can make money. 19 year old starts a trucking business. So what I can do is I'll write down that as a topic here. Now I'm gonna go through and find a few more topics. And if you're following along with this tutorial, you should do the exact same thing. Try and find all of the key topics specifically among the top videos across your entire niche. A lot of people look for topics that did kind of well. That's not good enough. We need to find topics across videos that are literally the most successful videos in the world in this particular niche, which is what we've done here with Velio. And if you're doing this manually, you're just gonna go through the list of all the competitor channels you found, then just go to their videos tab and go to most popular and look at the most popular videos that were posted in the timeframes you decide. Then take all their top videos and log them in a spreadsheet with their stats, then sort and manually apply the filters I talked about earlier and look for patterns. And again, you want to do this across all of the channels that have posted successful videos in your niche. A lot of people get lazy here and just do this to 10 or 20 channels. No, you want to do this to everyone because that's how you're going to find the actual gold. So I've done a little bit more analysis here and I found a couple of topics that have multiple real case studies of working across our niche. And this information is really useful, but even people who get to this stage tend to not get views if they don't do the next step I'm going to talk about. See, what you're going to want to do is if you're on Velio, come to the research tab. If you're on YouTube, just go to like YouTube search. It's going to get rid of my filters here. And I'm going to come up to filters again here. I'm going to change my search precision to balanced. I'm going to go to views and I'm going to select 600,000. I'm going to go to video duration and set that around five minutes as well. And then I'm going to go to advanced filters and then select the view sub ratio. So what this is, is this is a number that represents how many views the video got in relation to that channel subscriber count. So let's say we have a channel that has 10,000 subscribers, but they post a video that gets 50,000 views. 50,000 is five times 10,000. So what I like to do is I like to set my views to sub ratio to five. Then I'm going to hit apply. And we're gonna have a bunch of videos that pop up across YouTube that meet the criteria we just set. And what we're gonna do here is look for formats of videos that are doing really well at the moment. So for example, like 10 years ago, top 10 videos were a format that worked really well. It was top 10 movies, top 10 songs, top 10 this, top 10 that. Also a long time ago, tips and tricks videos did really well, often combined with top 10. So it'd be like top 10 tips and tricks to do X, Y, Z, 30 tips and tricks to do blah, blah, blah. So tips and tricks were also a format. Now those two formats have been done to death right now, so they don't work that well. But what we're gonna do now is try and find some new formats that are working at the moment. And then we're gonna use those formats with the topics we found earlier to make some viral video ideas, which we'll get into more later in the video. So already there are a bunch of cool formats that have shown up in here. Here's one that jumps out to me. What's the hardest part of life in Germany? And the reason I say this is a format because there's a variable here that could be switched out that would allow us to completely remake this video while keeping the same format. So in this case, the variable is life in Germany. And I say that's a variable because I could take this title and just swap out life in Germany for something completely different and the video would still make sense. So for example, one of the topics I found when I was going through our videos earlier was investing. So you could take a video like this and be like, what's the hardest part of investing? Or what's the hardest part of making money as a student? Anyway, this isn't really the best example of a format I'd look for, but it's good enough that I do want to save it just in case for later. So what I'll do is I'll hit this little box here and then I'll click here into manage folders and I'm going to select to create a folder. And then I'm just going to call this like slash make money video formats and hit save changes. And we can see our business slash make money formats folder pops up here. I'm gonna select that and I can add some tags to this video as well if I wanna organize it further. The only thing I really care about in this video is the title and idea. So I'm just gonna get rid of my thumbnail tag. And what I can do also up here is click add note and I can write down my inspiration for this video. So I could be like, so what's the hardest part of investing slash passive income, whatever, right? I'm gonna hit save video. And what's gonna happen now is if I go to my saved videos folder and I come to my make money slash business formats folder that we just created, you can see this video is saved there for later. But anyway, we're gonna go back to our research tab because I like to do an extra thing to help us get even better formats quicker. And that is there are certain key terms that a lot of interesting formulas have in common or are related to. And I'll put a bunch of them on screen right now for you to copy that you can enter into the search bar here and find some really cool stuff and save a bunch of time. And one of my favorite ones for education channels is the how I learned terms. 
And then I'm just gonna hit search on that. And now we can see a bunch of interesting videos show up. And these ones are actually a lot better than the ones we were just going through. A couple that immediately jump out to me are this one. So it's how I learned English by myself in a lazy way. The variables are English and polygot. Cause what I could do is I could take this title and I could be like how I learned investing by myself in a lazy way without studying. And then I could change this to advice from a multimillionaire. If I was going for the investing topic. Or I could do something like how I created a multi-million dollar business by myself in a lazy way without studying advice from a 17 year old. If we were trying to go for the how to make money as a student slash teacher topic we identified. So this one's really cool. I'm gonna save this. Now there are so many ideas here. Like I could literally be doing this for hours and you probably should be doing this for hours to find the best cream of the crop. But for me, I'm just gonna do a couple more so we can move on to the next part of the video. This one here is very cool. Five years of coding, everything I've learned. Take any variable we found earlier. Five years of passive income, everything I've learned. Five years of investing, everything I've learned. Five years of online business, everything I've learned. Save that. Again, just taking the variables and swapping them for what's going to be relevant to the proven topics we found here. And here's one last cool idea here. I met 94 billionaires, here's six things I learned. But again, if we look at our topics here, this video actually hits on one of the topics we identified, which is this one, but we could add another angle to this with the student slash teenager topic we identified. So we could do something like, I met 94 teenage millionaires. Here are the six things I learned. Great video idea, should definitely be saved. And you can see there are a ton of really interesting formats I could find here that I can just keep scrolling through. If you're in a niche where you find it a little bit difficult though to find certain formats, what you can do is when you do find a format that's applicable to you, let's just say like this one, I can click on these three dots and then go view similar videos. And as you can see, it's now gonna show me a bunch of videos that are very similar to the types of formats I'm looking for. And then you can do exactly what I just showed you and then just save them to your folder. And then once you do that, the last step is just go to your save video folder. This is the one that we were just working on here, but you can see there aren't many videos in it. So I'm just gonna go to one I prepared earlier. So go to that save video folder and just come down to sort and you're gonna sort by, you guessed it, the ones that have the most views. And then also you're gonna have a look at your list of topics and you're gonna start at the top of the topic that you found was most common across successful videos when you're researching your niche. And you're just gonna mix and match your way because they're the most likely to do well and just create those videos for your channel. And I know that might sound overly simple, but let me show you an example to prove that this actually works. So I was doing this exact same process. I was just showing you a while ago and I identified that in my niche, Mr. Beast was a trending topic. Even if you go to my save channel folder here for YouTube education, and let's just cite Mr. Beast. What you can see, Mr. Beast video, 500,000 subs, 4 million views, 11X outlier. Another Mr. Beast video here, Mr. Beast video, Mr. Beast. Again, Mr. Beast was a massive trending dude. But the thing was just making a Mr. Beast video wasn't gonna be good enough. So I found a format from another niche. And it was actually this video here, Tom Holland being a meme for four minutes straight. Really great format, cause look, 10 million views from 123,000 subs. And so I took those topics and formats, swapped out the variables and fused them together. And that is this video right here. As you can see, got over 5 million views and 16,000 subscribers. It's generating me almost 2,000 views every 48 hours. And in case you're wondering, oh, but Marcus, your channel was big when you posted this video. No, that's not the reason this video worked. If we come into reach and then we go to browse features, you can see here that 90% of these views are coming from the algorithm promoting me. Another 5% are coming from YouTube search. Another are coming from suggested videos, I have to go all the way down here. If we look at the amount of views that I got in the beginning from like people being sent notifications of my video, it was literally like 240 views. So we went from 240 views to almost 5 million just by following the process I just showed you. And this process works so well because most people are too lazy to do everything I just showed you. It takes work. It is freaking boring and it's not gonna work 100% of the time. You may make one, two, three videos and they don't hit. But eventually if you keep doing this consistently, one of your videos will hit that will blow up and literally one video blowing up can change your entire life. So as mentioned, you can do everything I just showed you for free, just literally by like subscribing to channels, manually checking them out, using YouTube search, etc. But I found that to be a huge pain in the ass when you're researching hundreds of channels. Also using YouTube search to find formats kind of painful because you don't have the filters and stuff. And so that's why I made Velio. Velio launched this month and to celebrate that, you can use code launch to try Velio for an entire month for just $1. On top of that, everyone who signs up to Velio within seven days of this video being posted, 
I will give you my viral video swipe file, which basically has a list of around 100 different formats that I've already pre-researched for you. And it doesn't matter what niche you're in, you can just take some of these formats, apply them to the winning topics you've found in your niche and start getting a hell of a lot more love from the algorithm. So you can check out Valia with a link down below. But if for some reason you're not ready for that, you don't trust me, which is just reasonable. I'm just some random Australian man screaming at you on the internet. Uh, there's a video on screen you could watch where I'll show you another way to make viral videos, even if you have a very small channel or are starting from zero.